In an odd training twist, this week I decided to mount my never before ridden mule Izzy and attempt to shoot my traditional bow off her back in full plains Indian style. That wouldn't have any relevance to training a mule whatsoever. Pirelli would never approve of this at this stage. We're just trying to think of something funny because this episode we're kind of just doing the same thing because with a mule it's better to be patient than it is to be quick. We didn't shoot a bow off her back, but we did continue working on leading, stopping, backing up, and round pin exercises. We also attempted to get a bit in her mouth for the first time. Mules are protective of their noses and mouths. In preparation for a bit, I've been messing with her mouth this week. Yeah, I'm gonna see I can put my fingers in her mouth and get her to open up a little bit. I tried getting her to open her mouth for the lead rope and then later for a bit. So now I got something in her mouth and then I'm gonna scratch her a little bit behind the ears. Good. Get that over your tongue. Good. I got Izzy about four weeks ago and we've been training her with the intent to saddle break her for hunting. I've been messing with this horse's mouth a lot the last two or three days and uh, I'm gonna do my best to get this this bridle on her. We just did a little bit of round pin work. Easy, easy. Just gonna get it up on her head. I'm gonna let her know that that's okay. And then I'm gonna take it off. She's never had a bit in her mouth but once she figures out what I'm trying to do she's probably not gonna like it very much. Be the first time you ever had a bit in your mouth. Good. Got it. Okay. Got the bit in the mouth. Now I'm just going to take it out. Okay. Got it in her mouth. That didn't, that didn't go too good. Okay. There we go. Izzy is really starting to trust me more, but we're still a ways from getting on her back. We also got River in the round pin this Step week. back away from her. I want to teach you some of the just basic round pin stuff that we're doing. And like Darren Wiles has always told me it's all about feel and timing. When he first said that, I didn't really understand what he meant. But that horse, his whole language is body language. It's, he doesn't communicate verbally, but he communicates with his body and the way he moves. We're communicating to him by the feel on that right there because that's our connection point to him. What you want to do is you want to focus your eyes on that front shoulder. So you're going to focus like a predator, like you're a predator and you're just barreling in. And then you're going to give her a little bit of pressure. And again, this is herd language. This is the way a, a big, the lead animal in a pack would treat a lesser animal. This is almost like voodoo. But when you, so you're staring at her front shoulder and all of a sudden you're gonna switch your eyes back, focus on her haunches and she's gonna turn. And then you kind of turn your shoulder to, to her just a little bit and come in and then pet her. Yeah. There you go, get her moving. Good, okay, now don't, don't you don't have to whip anymore. Now just keep it up and just turn with her. And as long as she's moving, you're happy. Give her a little bit more. Okay, now see if you can turn her. Just stare right at her haunches. Okay, now move in. Now don't move directly to her. Remember what I said? 
Don't ever wrap the rope around your hand like that either. I learned that the hard way once when Ellie got away from me when I did that and nearly jerked my hand off. Good, she's starting to get the hang of you doing this. You gotta convince her that you're the top dog in this cage. This is like an MMA cage fight. You'd probably be a good cage fighter. I'm just kidding, you wouldn't. Okay, see if you can turn her. Stare. Good, okay, now let go that way. Draw her to you. We had a great week of training, and we're all learning. And that's what this whole thing's about. Saw a young mule at an auction down the road. Had a rough year. I couldn't bid when he was shown But I placed a bid With some money that I was owed Sure enough I won him So I took the young mule home and I've got myself this old mule Ten years past his prime Still kicking in a bucket He can haul a load just fine Just as fine as I'd seen He could haul a load through the hills Full of plow just like a dream He was tough as an ox And as stubborn as he could be So I called him Big Burl He was just a mule for me Now I've got myself this old mule Ten years past his prime Still kicking in a bucket He can haul a load just fine